the first thing that came to my mind when somebody said, hey, what's the ambient temperature? Yeah, what's the outside temperature today? You know, I always thought that was the outside temperature. But it should be when I ask you if I want the ambient temperature, what should you should be answering that question with a question. And you should be saying where where? Where are of what? So if I want the ambient temperature of this room, where would I take it? Thermostat. Because that's the only thing that controls the temperature in this room. Although the thermostat may read one thing, if he's sitting directly under a vent, it's only 72. Well, he's getting, you know, 59 degree air out of that vent, you know, so he's a lot cooler than somebody that may be in the center. Or if you're on a building that has a window with an east or west exposure, depending on what time of day it is, is going to be warmer than that person that's away from it. The one thing that I want you to take away is when we're, as it refers to air conditioning, there's not but one thing you're always trying to control, and that is temperature. temperature. Can you control the pressure in this room? No, not really. I could, but how much money would it take to put a st negative static air pressure, put vents in the wall, and cut things out? Yeah, I can create, decrease, or yeah. increase static pressure. I could, but is it something we ever play with is pressure in a room? Never. The pressure is what it is based on the temperature. Right. The one thing we can control is temperature. temperature. So if I can get you to start focusing on temperature, and then when we start to read our gauges, like I have here, everybody wants to read these outside numbers, right? The pressure's running 118 to 125. That doesn't tell me anything. What I want are the inside numbers. That tells me the temperature of the refrigerant. I want to know the temperature, because that's the one thing I need to be able to control. So if I said I wanted the ambient temperature outside, where would you take that temperature? Outside, outside. Where? At the condenser. Very good. So I want it near the condenser. If I've got a building that runs north and south, right, it's getting that east and west exposure. And then on the southern end is going to be the worst because that's where the sun rises and you get that southern exposure to the, to the uh, sun. In the morning, if my condensing units are on the east side of that building, those units are going to be a lot hotter than the west side of the building, as much as 20 or 25 degrees difference in temperature. Right. I got rooftop units. Anybody have rooftop units? You ever take your thermometer and point that thermometer on the roof in the middle of summer? Mm -hmm. You ever, ever seen 130, 140 up Why there? Indeed. Yeah, it gets sm and especially if you got a black tar roof or something like that, it's mm -hmm. smoking hot. So that temperature is going to be different for every condensing unit that we work on. So, but that's the temperatures we're working with. So we have to measure them on the component that we're working with.